Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, first, I'd like to start off by saying uh, thank you to all my subscribers uh, to my channel, um, all my new subscribers. Um, for all the new folks, my name is Ray Cornelia. Uh, this is my home shop slash garage. Um, I'm a hobby machinist and hobby gunsmith. And um, I like doing these videos because I like giving back of everything I've gotten from YouTube and I really appreciate it um, there's some really awesome mentors out there so uh, thanks uh, in this series of videos um, I'm going to uh, make a power draw bar for my new web mill out of this pile of parts that's the plan anyway so um, I also have a little uh, tip um, on holding parallels I'd like to show you so um, let me cut the camera and move over to the mill and I'll show you where we're going to mount the power draw bar and um, I'll talk about a little of how I plan on it working okay so be right back okay we're back um, I'm not sure if anyone's ever seen this before um, I just came up with this real simple solution of holding parallels up um, let's call it Raymond's mustache. Anyway, um, basically what I did is I just took some uh, spring steel and I bent it into this shape. Two flats here and a flat here. Well, not really a flat, but a curve. A curve. Bent like a mustache. Anyway, uh, basically you just throw it in here for multiple parts. And I'll show you the theory behind it. Um, you can make one for any size part you're working on. Um, I had it uh, just set up here because I was playing with this idea. So basically the theory is it's, it's spring-loaded, so it's holding those parallels up. So you can tighten your part up, and then uh, when you're ready to change parts out, loosen it, pull your part out, put another part in right here, and it holds spring tension on it the whole time. So you can make different size um, springs, basically, for different size parts, uh, shorter ones, taller ones. Um, spring steel is all over the place. I mean, I, I find it, you know, job sites all the time. Well, anyway, I uh, wanted to share that with you. Um, I can come in on a tighter shot and get a little better view if you want. Be right back. Okay, I got this block of aluminum to just demonstrate um, how the parallels are being held up by the spring steel. Um, you can see it holds the parallel pretty tight. You can put your part in. Tighten up. Let's say you need to change out your part multiple times. You just take it out and hold your parallels nice and rigid. Go back in, tighten up. Of course, you wouldn't be holding something like this, but it's just a demonstration. So there you go. Hope it works out good for you, man. Thanks. This is where I'm going to be mounting the power draw bar. Um, mine is pretty simple since I have the very, very speed head. Um, I just have this nice flat plate with it's already drilled and threaded um, I assume quarter 20 and my draw bar is right there so that makes uh, half the battle man it's done so then um, let me cut and bring you over to the parts and I'll show you how I'm thinking about putting this together okay Here's the uh, slew of parts I'm going to attempt to make my power draw bar with. Um, this is a Harbor Freight butterfly gun with a uh, three quarter inch uh, 12 point socket. Um, has forward and reverse, of course. Um, I'm going to use an air actuator to basically force the uh, impact driver down onto the draw bar. Um, I got some air fittings, uh, some return springs, 5 8 bar for guide rods, some airline, um, and some scrap pieces of aluminum. Um, this already fits on the top of that machine, so I've been playing with that a little bit. 
Um, that's going to be the base. Um, the power draw bar I made for the PM45 turned out really nice. The only thing it didn't have was an air actuator to force it down onto the draw bar. So you had to manually push it down. This one I want to take it a step further and use an, this air actuator. And so it actuates down and then the springs will return it um, back to home again. That's the theory anyway. So um, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is uh, dissect this thing. Um, we're, I'm basically going to use the back end of this as the pneumatic switch for the power draw bar. So what I have to do is um, make a new um, backing plate for it so I could put two fittings in here to feed your on and off or your left and right, whatever you want to call it, in here. So. All right, I marked the off and the on already, um, so I know which way it would turn when uh, one of these when one of these buttons were pushed. So I got it marked there too. Okay, so take the butterfly flapper off and. Okay, so our next step basically, we're going to make a, um, a new backing plate for it. It's going to have two fittings here for our in and out. And then of course it's going to mount up to here. So that's our next step. Okay, I'm back. I just finished the valve body. Um, drilled and tapped these four here, 832. Uh, drilled and tapped these eighth inch pipe. And this is going to be for the um, in out on off switch, basically. Um, so basically I'll show you how it's gonna work. I still have to lap these surfaces um, so they're perfectly flat. Um, I'll do that off camera. So basically we're gonna do something like this. Hey, look at that, it fits. How about that? See, even I get lucky once in a while. All right, I don't want to torque these down too much just in case it's not straight. Okay, so there's the valve body. Uh, our switch is going to be here, some type of rocker switch. And I drilled for the axle for that. And then <clears throat> this is going to be for our airlines come on baby okay you get the idea Okay, we're gonna have uh, airlines coming in. Uh, actually, the airline coming in here, feeding this, and then this going to the uh, impact gun. One for in or left, and one for out, right. And then our, we're gonna have our switch right here, and then we're gonna mount this up somehow. I'm not sure yet. Um, so the only thing left to do for this is build a switch for it and lap these surfaces. And this piece is done. So um, that's it for the night. Um, I'm going to head in, have some dinner soon, and hope you enjoyed. Man, we'll see you soon. See ya.